Hello guys and welcome back to Lan App. For today's video, here we're going to show you or discuss for you Shopify product grid tutorial. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So you might be new to Shopify here and you're wondering how do you exactly get that grid uh or product grid whenever you're uh, visiting different websites. Well, achieving that in Shopify is actually very easy. So I'm be showing you a few things here. But before that, the first thing that you want to guarantee that you do to first here is you want to set up every detail or you want to set up your store first. That includes like the information about your store, uh, your payment details, your uh, products, especially your products, something pretty important here. And yeah, basically your shipping. Now, once you've done that, uh, you are now ready to start editing uh, or adding your product grid. But like what I said before, let's focus on products first before we go to our product grid. So I did have site, you have products here. You could go and click on products. And by the way, a great way for you to organize different products, I'll be showing you uh, collections later on because there's actually multiple ways on implementing uh, this uh, specific look into your website or in your, in your Shopify store. So yeah. In this case, let's go ahead and click on add product at the top right here. And basically, we just need to fill out all the SR details. So that includes like the title, which in this case, you just add a title. Uh, description, which in this case, uh, describes the product itself, like sizes, uh, what's the quality, uh, is it cotton, like is it a t-shirt, uh, you need to provide out. And you could also uh, upload like, different images here, like media, and you can even categorize this. Now, by the way, Whenever you're categorizing uh, products here, it's really important that you really uh, organize your uh, inventory here. Because depending on how you ca ca um, add categories here, add the type of product, uh, the tags for it, uh, this will determine how products will appear. Now, the better you organize or the better your ca uh, you organize your product by type and tags and category here, the better your store will actually uh, be organized later on. Because Again, like if you, uh, if your store is going to uh, going to be uh, in the long term, obviously you're going to add a uh, new product. So if you make your uh, store organized from the very start here, this will affect, uh, really affect how your store will be organized in re later in the future. So yeah, also have the pricing here, the cost per item, and the inventory. If you want to track the inventory for that, go and enable this one, and also the shipping for this one, and you can also add variants just in case. So yeah. So basically, uh, what I'm saying here, just set up your products here properly. Make sure to add the types, the uh, tags here, and the category for it. Now, let's go and move on to collections. Now, collections, from the name itself, is, uh, or in this case, are collections of product. Now, the great thing about collections here is this is a great way for you to uh, basically uh, group products together. Like if you want to add a summer collection, a winter collection here, or like, for example, bestseller products collection here. So you could just basically create one. So then click on create collection at the top right here. Now, for collections, you need to add a title here. And also a description of the collection. So I would really recommend you to really describe uh, the collection here. And also the title would actually appear on your Shopify store whenever you add that. But later on, I'll be discussing that. But yeah, so just make sure to organize this one as well so that you know what the content for this one. And also, as you can see, there is an option here for a collection type. Now, if you choose manual here, this allows you to add products here manually. So in this case, you can search for products that you want and just basically add them in your collection manually. But the great thing about Shopify here is, again, like what I said before, depending on how you tag your product, uh, categorize them, add tags or whatever, uh, if you choose smart here, it actually allows you to filter them. Like for example, you could uh, get all products that is tagged with summer. So everything or every product that has a tag summer here will be added, automatically added here in your collection. Which in this case, like for example, if you have a lot of products here, being able to automatically add them in your collection here and not doing anything and just visiting collection and randomly adding them uh, is going to be a really big help here, especially if you're adding multiple products here. This will do the trick for you. They will do it do it for you automatically. So yeah, so this is a great way for you to or categorize or in this case, group them together in collections. Now, uh, by the way, you could also choose other options here like the type, category, vendor, the price for it, the inventory stock, the variance title, meta fields as well if you want to. So yeah, there's multiple ways on creating your collection here. But once you've done that, let's go and go to online store and the website here. Let's go and click on discard here, by the way. And let's go to online store. 
And from here, we want to go ahead and click on customize. Now, from here, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and basically uh, add a section here that we could use uh, for our grid. But for now, let's go ahead and clear a few things here. Maybe I want to uh, delete this collection list here. So delete this one. Click delete the uh, form app here. We also have the image banner here as well. As you can see here now, feature collection as well. Let's go ahead and delete this one. So in this case, in order for you to achieve the product grid in Shopify, you need to add a section. So let's go and give an add section. Now from here, first is we have featured uh, products. Now, feature product here allows you to basically add and show a product into your store. So this is a pretty big one that allows you allows your customers to really check uh, add that product into their cart. You could also specify what product it is. So you click on the properties here at the top right. Yeah, product. You can select the product that you want to add it uh, in here. So let's go and choose this one as an example. So yeah, so this is a great way for you to really like have that product grid. But this is just one of the things that you could do. Let's go and click on add section again. And we now have the featured collection. So if you click on the featured collection here, this allows you to add like different products or a number of products in here. Like for example, if you create a collection specifically for uh, grid one or this section here, well, you can just select them via the property section. So by the way, I've selected this one, which collection. And from here, you should be able to choose it. So let's go, you could go and scroll down a bit here. So yeah, you have this uh, the heading heading size here, uh, collection. So you could go and select that, and select your collection that you want to use. Like let's go and choose best selling products, and it will add that product. Now, by the way, whenever you're adding products in here, I would really recommend you to first to make sure that the product itself has a square photo so that everything is actually it looks uh, quite the same whenever you're doing this. But for now, let's go and delete this one and re-add it so everything is uh, smooth. Now from here, another thing, sorry, feature product, add a uh, section here for collection. Now, another thing that you may want to do here is whenever you're adding your properties here, you may want to choose uh, the heading size here. So in this case, you may want to delete the heading so that it's not visible. You can also change a few things like, for example, uh, the maximum product uh, products to show here. Like, for example, like you choose 10 products in here, number of columns on desktop as well, and make products full width if you want to make them. As you can see, it's going to be full width. It's going to be, going to be a lot bigger here. And yeah, so if you want to enable carousel as well on desktop here so that they appear in carousel just in case, like you have like more more than five products, like show nine products should, or should show as carousel. And yeah, so you have the product card as well. So you have the adapter uh, image. You also have square here. So in this case, in, instead of just uh, changing or editing the image manually, we can just choose the product card here. And yeah, a lot more. But yeah, you can just click on add section again, just choose featured collection. And same thing, you just need to redo everything that we just did before. You want to delete, delete the heading here. And you want to go ahead and make sure to increase the number of products you want to show here. And you may want to, uh, yeah, do the other things that we did before. And just basically uh, edit this via this way. So yeah, so in this case, a great thing about this one is you could also like move things around. So just give you the uh, so this makes it makes it a lot more interesting if you're going to ask me. So we have this one, then a big product here, and then another one. So yeah, hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Lineup. Thank you for watching.